It's a very important issue that we are rising on to speak today. Uh, motion number 94, a motion that actually speaks directly to responding to the needs of caregivers in Ontario, over 3.3 million of them who are doing unpaid and oftentimes unrecognized work that is building and, and supporting the health care system. And we know that that work is difficult and trying and it's emotionally draining. And oftentimes it happens when you least expect it. But people are doing this in Ontario, and they deserve to be supported by this government and everyone in this House, because I know that this is a deeply personal issue, Speaker, for every member in this House. I have shared my story with them, my story of my wife, who has actually been battling two cancers over the last 11 months, how difficult that has been on our family, as, as I want to say thank you to the House team who has provided me the support so I can go provide care for my wife. But we are also supporting by a community of friends and chosen family that number 50. 50 people have been coming in and out of our homes, taking my wife to medical appointments, to making sure that we can keep the ball in the air, and oftentimes it is not happening in every single moment. It's making sure that our food is in the fridge, making sure that we have the care that we need in order for me to be the primary parent to our five-year-old son, and this is on top of the fact that my father is living with prostate cancer quite advanced and he's been given some time uh, notified by the doctor of how long he has to live. So, Speaker, I know that my story is not unique, yet I know that this is a story that is shared by members across the aisle. Because I've heard you talk about the, the, men, the family members in your family who are living with dementia, I've heard about the struggles that you have with your children who are living with autism and how difficult it is to make sure that your kids have the support that they need so that you can uh, come to work. And we are very lucky, lucky and privileged speaker in this House because we have some flexibility. We have people who can step in and support us when they need to support us. And I know how difficult it is because I know you're also running tired just like I am, just like other members in our caucus have. And so when we are able to share those stories, when we're looking at each other and we share our real human experiences, we have empathy and compassion for each other. Why can we not extend that same empathy, that same compassion to the 3.3 million Ontarians who have self-reported the fact that they are caregivers, who their work is unpaid and unrecognized? Speaker. This motion will go a long way in supporting those Ontarians, and we need to be able to let them know that this government is caring and deeply respectful of that work. I urge you all to support this motion. Thank you.